Okay, how about some Brazilian street food this morning? I'm here outside Boteco on East 7th Street with Fernando. All right, Boteco, tell me about it. Well, Boteco started a year and five months ago. Um, started just as an idea of a Brazilian hangout spot. There's so many Brazilians in Austin. There's so many Brazilian events, and we wanted to bring a little bit of the Brazilian flavors into here. Um, so yeah, we serve Brazilian street food, and uh, from croquettes to yuca fries to a lot of steak, as you can imagine. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been good so far. One year and five months. All right, I'm excited to see some of that street food. So yeah. let's go inside. Let's do it. Tell us what you're doing. Uh, we're making some picanha right now, and uh, we're about to season the second side here, which is, Brazilian seasoning is just sea salt. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're starting to see we're starting to get our Oh, wow. Here. Put an egg. Put an egg on it. Always. Why not, right? Uh-huh. Okay, and what do you call this dish again? Um, this dish is called picanha grelhada, and um, I'll show all the, the side dishes that we use um, whenever we plate the dish. Um, but pretty much picanha. It's, uh, it's the most popular cut of uh, meat in Brazil. It's distinct because of the fat that it has here on the side. It gives it a lot of flavor. I love how crispy you're making it on the outside. Yeah, that's what people love about our steak. It's, it's the texture on the outside. Mm -hmm. it, it really, it, no color, no flavor. So you have to have, you have to have that crust on the outside. For you. you normally may not think of a big steak like this as being something that you would find at a food truck that usually serves, you know, pretty quick and, and small dishes. Yeah, that's true. That's something that makes yours a little different. It makes it. It may have people, a lot of people say, how do you come up with this out of a food truck? Yeah. Uh, we do it, you know, we do it. We, we, we have to, we, we like to represent our country the best way possible. So why not do a beautiful piece of steak? Yeah, right? why not? And for breakfast, for us, even right. better. Dinner, anytime. Okay, we're getting that steak just right. Cooking it on all sides. Ah, perfect. Look at that crust. And the egg. All right, so typically, a little tip, you want to have your steak rest a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but let's go ahead and just start plating here. So Brazilian food always starts with rice and beans, always. White rice, seasoned really well, lots of garlic, lots of onions. Gotta have the rice and beans. Why is that? Oh, that's the tradition. Um, you won't fill your Brazilian up if you, don't, if you don't have rice and beans. <laughs> we need double carbs all the time. And oh, those beans look fantastic too. So the beans, we always cook it with pork. Um, it gives a lot of flavor. The steak is ready, so we'll just slice it. More than enough food for one person, Fernando. It feeds one Brazilian, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever that means. So we'll put the egg here right in the middle. This is called farofa. It's toasted yuca flour with scrambled eggs, butter, garlic, and onions. Really, really Brazilian. Ah. You won't find this in any other culture. It's really good. Very interesting. Yeah. A little vinaigrette salad just gives a little freshness to the dish. Fried eggs in the middle. Save one for the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle appreciates that. Yep. Oh, that is beautiful. Caramelized onions on top. Biquinho peppers from the southeast of Brazil. These are not spicy. They're actually sweet. What a dish. A bit of fresh chives. And there we go. All right, and I know you have a couple other things on the menu that you want to show us real quick. Yep. Already made. We've got the yuca fries here with the yes. chimichurri aioli. Those are really, really yeah. good. Very I'm going to try one of those. And right here on the left, you have the coxinhas. Mm. Good, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah. What are those guys? These are called chicken croquettes. They're called coxinhas. Uh, they're the most popular street food in Brazil. You can find these anywhere in the country. Um, it's it's got chicken and cream cheese in the inside, and there's a really crispy dough that we we deep fry per order, and it's just it's my favorite thing. I try not to eat them every day, but I I eat them every day. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Are you guys on social media? Everywhere, at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, we are everywhere. Yeah. Boteco. Boteco. And you can find the truck on East 7th Street. Exactly, 1403 East 7th Street, Austin, Texas. Awesome, yeah. time to eat. Thank yep. you. Thank you so much, guys.